Hello and welcome to this probably last part of Dengarompa another. We are here yeah, this probably. Yeah. We are here this time to go through all the free time events. So yeah. Let's and we just... do have permission for these for the use of these translations for this video. Got approval ahead of time. Uh, if you want to see these videos yourself, uh, they're on Temp Accounts uh, YouTube. So yeah. Yeah, let me just shortly put your avatar away. There, yeah, Temp Accounts. Let's dive right in, I guess. Yeah. All right. Starting with Kyokamaki. Uh, I'm starting to get really antsy from being trapped here. Yuki, what's the first thing you want to do after getting out? Uh-huh. I would just do things as usual. Going to school, chatting with friends, playing video games. <laughs> so you don't have any dreams? You've finally gotten out of this killing game and all you want to do is live your daily life? Does it sound weird? Then what would you want to do? Oh, I know. It must be something related to shooting, right? Are you crazy? Why would I go shooting after all that hard work? I don't know. What's that reaction? Aren't you the ultimate sniper? Weren't you sc scouted by Hopespeak Academy because of your shooting skills? Huh? Yes, I was. But does a talent mean I have to have to like it? I'm a girl with a lots of dreams. There's still loads of things I want to see and do. But the shooting. Get the shooting already. Ready, aim, fire, and voila! It's an easy 10-point shot. Wow, but their skills are so good. If Esperant shooters around the world hear this, they would get mad at her for sure, wouldn't they? I never thought it was a big deal, and at the very next moment everyone was calling me the ultimate sniper. I didn't care much at first, but after being invited to enter Hope's Peak, I rushed to accept the offer. Therefore, I'm going to travel around the world when I get out. That's a nice dream. What? Where did that come from? Just taking in the sights. The girl should have big dreams in her heart. I'll free myself from the rusty guns and wander all around the world. She wants to be seen for more than her talent, and hmm. that's... Mm -hmm. Stop. Don't say anything more. You're tearing my fantasy apart. What fantasy? She doesn't exist for you? <laughs> huh? Why are you disappointed, Yuki? Did I say something wrong? How about a song to cheer you up? I'm pretty good at singing, you know. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody must have made a mistake when Kyoka was given her talents. She clearly got the wrong one. I mean, you know, someone Bruh. can be good at their job, but have different hobbies. Mm -hmm. Kyoka kept a nonchalant smile on her face. Me. Yuki's such a prick. Hmm. Yuki, have you been to the antique store? Yeah, with Akane. Why? To see if there's something fun. There's absolutely nothing to do in my room, you know? All I could find was a dumb notepad and tons of guns just super glued to the floor. <laughs> do you know if the antique store has things that might suit my taste better? Well, I don't go there very often. Clothes in my closet look exactly the same as what I'm wearing now. Would be really strange. No cosmetics from the brand I use, no fashion magazines, there's nothing for a teenage girl. She is so funny. I like her. Mm. <laughs> At least give us some pretty clothes to wear. Silly Monokuma, he does nothing for the student's convenience. I'm going to miss Monokuma. Well, the food is tasty, but that's a separate matter. I'm interested in the Monokuro, though. <laughs> uh, Kyoka, I think we'll have to deal with it while we're trapped here. Yuki, don't you think it's painful, too? Aren't you dying to surf the net, play video games, enjoy that lewd magazine under your bed, and go to the amusement park with your friends? Man, you calling him out for being a perv? Because you should. 
I don't have any of this of that stuff under my bed. I mean, Lineage these... says otherwise. Shut up, Yuki. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't been to an amusement park with my friends either. Oh, really? Yuki, your friends must be real boring. <laughs> this is. Are you sure you had any friends? No, no, he did not. <laughs> yeah, he sure actually didn't. She must have said it without any bad intent. Yep, not even a tiny bit, because she did the exact same thing when we first met. No filter. Okay, you're going to an amusement park with me after we get out. That's an order. Hmm. Uh, an order? Yeah, get bossed around and deal with it, bitch. Of course! Just imagine how much fun it would be to go there with a friend. I've never been there with a boy, though. Yeah, there's implications there. Would it be like a date? Just invite someone else to. Oh my gosh, a date. Did I seriously just say that out loud? Listen, you can invite anyone else except for Yuki and Mitch. <laughs> Yuki, don't say you heard that. I totally didn't think that out loud. Like a dummy. Did Kyoka never have a boyfriend? She empathized not having been there with a boy. And why is all this date stuff all of a sudden? Kyoka is murmuring a bunch of random words, her face reddened. A anyway, you're going with me after we escape. I hope you're not afraid of heights. As we're gonna ride them all. Roller coasters, log rides, the drop tower. I would die. At least at the drop <laughs> tower. I like roller coasters. I've been on them, they're not bad. Oh, and the shooting range. If you want anything, I'll win a prize for you. I don't love shooting, but my talent can still come in handy sometimes. Oh, make him bankrupt. Yes. Uh, Kyoka, don't you think you're a little too passionate about this? Am I? Maybe it's because I became super excited after thinking about getting out of here. Oh, is it time? I should check my laundry in the washing machine. I thought it already started to smell weird. Laundry? A and about the amusement park. Don't think of it as a date. Because I'm not interested in you. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I have to dunk on Yuki whenever possible. Mm. Kyoka looked strangely embarrassed. It was a nice surprise, but was there a need for her to get all red and blushy? Was it because of the state thing? I don't think that's a reason to be that embarrassed. She's embarrassed because she's not into you. Hmm. Watching Kyoka go off and hurry, I blah. Yeah. Alright, part three. Hmm. Uh, what's the matter, Kyoka? Yuki, if you have time, can I ask for your advice? This is such a bad idea, actually. Mm. <laughs> it's nothing super serious, but still... My advice on what? This isn't a good place to say that. I, I don't want anyone else to listen in. Ah. Why don't you come to my room? Are we actually gonna see her room? Uh, wait a minute, did we get that close already? No, I mean, can I just go into a girl's room like this? Why not? That's not why. Got it! I'm not gonna kill you or anything, so come on! <laughs> She's so reckless. What should I... should I go? Dude, you are just gonna exist in a different room for... Oh, are we actually gonna see her room? Yeah, I was right. It is this room. Hmm. So, what's the problem? Uh, so, if we... This is only hypothetical, just so you know. Oh, no. I'm asking for a I'm friend. I'm squinting it. I, I, yeah, you better be. <laughs> if we never get to escape, then we'd have to live here forever, right? Yeah, probably. We should hope it doesn't happen. That means I won't be able to learn how to play the guitar, work part-time in an aquarium, and feed the fish, or study art in a studio, right? I mean, working in an aquarium sounds fun. Yeah, it does. 
when did you say that you wanted to learn to play guitar, be an aquarium part-timer, or study art? I can play guitar, I'm just rusty. She's a big dreamer, that's for sure. My sister learns. And I'll never date anyone either. The, your choices here are not good, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Don't you find that to be unfair? We'll never get to fall in love until we get old and die here. I mean, that doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> I'm just a normal girl with lots of hopes and dreams. This is way too much. Oh, I can't take this. I'm really indifferent about shooting, but I do it all day if that'll get me out, buddy. Hmm. So what's the problem you need my advice on? What do you think will make the best boyfriend out of the group? Don't ask None of them. Me. None of them. None of them. <laughs> right now, that's the biggest problem for me. And you're asking Yuki with trash taste. If we're gonna stay trapped here for a long time, then we should at least get to enjoy some romance, don't you agree, Yuki? No. No, you should not. <laughs> but it's not like I'm really close with the boys, so I was wondering if you have someone to recommend. <laughs> no one good, because he's just gonna say Kinjo. <laughs> what kind of problem is this? Why don't you think about escaping this place first? Bidget, I would not be surprised if he says Kinjo, really. Well... But Sahiro is basically a narcissistic snob, yeah. I can't think of Haruhiko as more than a friend. Terry is a bit cowardly and kind of childish. He's also really fucking short. <laughs> and he doesn't look like he's even into girls. Surugi's too diligent and that'll make me tired. <laughs> Kakedo can't even talk with me with his shyness. Oh my god! And Yuki, you're... No, lay into him, please. And I'm... <laughs> No. And Yuki, you're... You might be okay, really? but I would be settling. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Yuki is... If the, is the age of self pro... pro... promo... what's the word? Anyway, showing yourself off! So please strip. Promotion. Self-promotion. That's what she's talking about. If I were you, I would have shouted, I'm your match! No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but wouldn't that seem too pretentious? I don't want to be like those douchebags you see on TV. You know, like Mitch, who's actually into you. <laughs> really? But I like that modesty of yours. You know, if there's a contest for best boyfriend in this class, you would definitely get first place. No. This is a lie. No. Kakeru would get first place. Absolutely. Kakeru would get first place. <laughs> Plus, we'll have to get married eventually if we stay here, so you might also become everyone's first choice husband. No, he is a failure of a, of a fucking protag. Absolutely not. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why me? You don't have anything weird going on. The rest of the boys either have a loose screw or have zero interest in this. So I'm first place because I don't stand out. I'm not sure whether I should be happy about this. It feels like kind of a strange though. I like hearing a confession of love or something. I'm pretty sure Kyoka has no idea what she's talking about. She's just rambling. She has no interest in you. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, that was totally not a love confession. It really wasn't. First choice husband? Oh, why did I even say that? You're, you're, you would practically be settling. Gosh, I really have to, have got to think before I speak. Yuki, please forget everything I just said. But for real, you're the most tolerable out of the boys here? <laughs> and like, the only choice really, I guess? I don't know why, but when I spend time with you, I feel better. Like, I can tell y you everything about me. That's not a good thing. A anyway, thanks for listening to me. I feel much better now. I can't believe those gloomy thoughts brought me all the way to this conclusion. <laughs> Fine, you're my best friend or soulmate or whatever. This smells like compet. 
Yeah. Although she can sometimes spit out nonsense, Kyoka is just an ordinary high school girl who was given the ultimate title. I feel like I can face this despairing situation with dignity thanks to her trust in me. <laughs> I wonder if she feels the same. God. I feel a deep bond with Kyoka. I can sense that we became close from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, this is combat. Uh, <laughs> Yo, Yuki, you found anything yet? Uh, no, nothing at all. Shit, I knew it. It's impossible. Even I haven't found anything despite busting my ass. Well, something is bound to come up as long as we keep looking. Damn it, how did I get involved with something so stupid like this? The gym missing a field, let alone a soccer ball, makes things worse. Ugh, I want to play soccer. You whiny piece of shit. <laughs> you like soccer a lot, huh? What the heck? Are you an idiot? Of course I do. Why do you think the school recruited me in the first place? Soccer is the greatest sport in invented by humanity. All other sports are garbage, absolute trash. Oh, you... Mm. Uh, isn't that a little radical? Hockey's the best sport. <sighs> I miss those simple days of training every day while playing squash with teammates. A life without soccer is hell. Mitch had always been so rude and arrogant before. I just thought of him as a jock with an ego, but now I see he's also unexpectedly dedicated and passionate about... stuff. Just you wait. One day I'm going to become a real Premier League player. <laughs> And then, I'll earn even more money. M money Aren't you playing soccer because you like it? Kaching. Nah, I'm in it for money and chicks, are you serious? <laughs> of course I like soccer, but regardless of what your passion is, it's gotta end up as a, a hobby without money, ain't it? In that sense, I'm pretty lucky. I get to earn money by doing my favorite thing. Must be nice. <laughs> Yuki, it's a shame you can't be as blessed as I am, but don't sweat it. We're in the same boat anyway, so don't be afraid to, to be under my debt, understood? Don't forget paying me back, though, with interest included. So you're just gonna play bank? Lone shark. Despite his confidence and passion, I get tired with Mitch a little whenever fame gets into his head. Oh well. I was half forced to listen to Mitch stroking his ego. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best punishment he has ever deserved, thank you. Things hey, get, okay. All right. Things get very quick Go in ahead. this video because no one likes him. Yeah, that's gonna be my my assumption. No one fucking likes Mitch, and neither do we. So, you know. <laughs> hey Yuki, are you in some kind of relationship with Akane? Wouldn't you you like to know, huh? Uh, we're not really like that. She would hate to hear you say that, but it's she doesn't Why do we need ask? you. <laughs> what? Bullshit. Why did you get in the way when I tried to get with her then, you idiots? Because you were trying to sexually harass her. Fuck off. Do you know how awkward it was after you broke the mood? The mood, mood for you, not for her. <laughs> I didn't really interfere. It was more of Akana being extremely uncomfortable about it. Thank you for It was just that. a coincidence I went by you two. <laughs> Alright. I'll accept your excuse for the time being, but if you do that again, you better prepare yourself. You got that, punk? Uh, th beat his ass. Uh, do you have a girlfriend, Mitch? Coach is always on my ass, telling me they'd be a distraction. He always bugs me about women we weakening legs during matches or something. A soccer prodigy like me losing a match because of something like a girlfriend? Can you imagine that? Yeah, you've always performed amazing, amazingly well even when you weren't properly match fit, right? You betcha. My coach gets too fussed about it though. You know what though? I actually don't even need a girlfriend. I just need to fuck around because I'm a fuckboy. A superstar like me has heaps of fans, you know? I was right! <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Are you saying you try your best thanks to your fans' support? Oh, I wish it was that innocent. 
What? Why would I look- think of something cringy like that? Look, a lot of my fans are girls, you know? Whenever I want, whenever I desire it, a basic pickup line is all I need to get them to go- to be crazy about me. I can just pick out the pretty ones from the countless number of girls at my disposal. Jesus Christ, I hate you. I often eat lunch with them, but sometimes I get to meet them and not- HA! I HATE YOU! <laughs> And with the finest chicks, I exchange numbers with them. So do you really think I need a girlfriend? I'm already surrounded by pretty girls that'll do whatever I say. You are awful. <laughs> uh, uh, what? On the other hand, ever since coming to the school, it's been real weird, you know? What? Usually girls go crazy when they see me, but the girls here don't do that. It's really weird. I'm being rejected for the first time, Yuki, and I don't like it. It's what you deserve! <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, Akane is the hottest out of all, all out of them all, but she got pissed off when I tried to hook up with her. Me, a superstar, the incredible Mitch with my abs. <laughs> she ain't an easy one, that's for sure. Maybe she's one of those hard to get type of girls. No, no she just doesn't like you! <laughs> Yeah, she's just pretending to play hard to get because I know she digs me. All right, I'm gonna attempt to seduce Akane one more time. No, Yuki. take him out, Yuki. Yuki. Second time's the charm for someone like me. I'm so tired of him. Oh God, why would you ever give a bastard like him a pr such a talent? If he was born normal, he wouldn't have ima imagined uttering such arrogant thoughts, let alone speak them. I hate him. <laughs> oh yeah, Yuki. You don't have a girlfriend, right? I can introduce you to someone later, so make sure to survive till then. I don't want your leftovers. Of course, you gotta help me out in the meantime. You got a wingman for me? No! Seeing how he wants to introduce me to a girl, he's not the worst. Oh, no. Yuki, no. Uh, Yuki, no. Yuki, no. Yuki, Yuki, no. No, 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 no. What the fuck is wrong with you? On the other hand, his thoughts and actions are so idiotic. Mitch might be a hopeless guy after all. Yes, yes, that much I agree with. The second half of that statement, most definitely. The first half, shut up. <laughs> I assertively declined. I hate this man. <laughs> he only gets worse. Yeah, okay, there's something I need to tell you about. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? What is it? Can you come to my room for a second? No, no, no. Just walk away. Just walk away. I don't even want to see it. <laughs> I'm... I'm not gonna do something weird, you punk. Anyways, don't be late. Plus, I don't fucking swing that way because I'm a pretentious shit. <laughs> What's gonna happen? I think he meant in terms of killing, but I accept your way of thinking more. <laughs> so, this is Mitch's room. So, what I was trying to say was... Hmm? Yuki, let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, uh, are you trying to kill someone? It's not like that. I want to play soccer outside right now, but the gym doesn't contain any resemblance of a soccer ball. Nor is it made to play soccer at. There are plenty of soccer balls in your room, though. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> Yuki, they're all replicas. They won't even move from their spots on the floor. Useless. For real, though, since I can't figure out how to escape alone, I wanted to discuss it with someone I'm decently close with, which is you. Because I have no friends. Surely Monokuma doesn't know, doesn't know what we are saying in our dorms, right? There's a camera right in your corner. <laughs> Mitch, we have cameras in our rooms as well. Uh, now it all makes sense. <laughs> Alright then. So, I want to die no matter what I do at the moment. <laughs> I want to play soccer! Uh, an escape plan was going to be my calling card, but now it's all for nothing. Screw this, let's just talk. I... You invite a man back to your bedroom just to chat? <laughs> <laughs> Are you good at soccer, Yuki? <laughs> Around the same as normal, guys. 
Compared to a pro like you, I'm probably hopeless. <laughs> don't don't butter his ego. Really? I'm gonna train alone at the gym, so gotta be a ball boy picking up the balls for me, yeah? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so tired of him. You can't dare be in my presence with such worthless skills. <laughs> nah, I gotta turn down your offer, but what are you going to use in place of a soccer ball? A basketball. <laughs> Ouch! As someone who no 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 pause pause I need to I need to I need to ramble about this. As someone who used to be a soccer player, you cannot use any ball other than a soccer ball for kicking. You might be able to get away with a volleyball, but it's still no. You can't because I've tried kicking around like a kickball or a soccer ball. It is not the same feeling. Hmm. It doesn't feel the same when you kick it around, and also. The, the cleats that they give you? No, it's not built to kick around that type of ball. Absolutely not. Mitch, you're a moron. Anyway, we can continue. <laughs> ouchie, ouchie feet. Mm -hmm. uh, won't a basketball make your feet sore? Yuki, okay, you punk. Who do you think I am? I'm the great ultimate soccer player, Mitsuhiro Higa. I will never complain about a sore foot from a measly basketball. I can kick any type of round, of round object. Wow, sorry. Did I touch enough there? Yes, keep doing that. Won't other guys play soccer with me? I can play solo against all of you or something like that. <clears throat> they may be ultimate talents in other fields, but I'm the chosen one in soccer, aren't I? So, you want to play soccer with the others as well? Of course! It ain't fun alone, even though I was a pretentious shit about it earlier. Money, women, and fame. I have all of them thanks to soccer. In a sense, isn't soccer basically the point of my existence? That's sad. <laughs> yeah. I earn popularity through soccer. Oh, and my awesome personality certainly helped too. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I may have a lot of things I'm good at besides soccer. But others will always tell me I'm at my best self when I play soccer. Gotta mention that exciting feeling I get whenever I dribble past other players and score as well. So Yuki, my man, you should enjoy the fun soccer as well. Other, sp other sports might be garbage, but soccer really is the greatest sport made by mankind. No, it's hockey. Fuck you. <laughs> How about you have a trial with me for a start? With a basketball. You want him to break his toes? <laughs> well, he may be immature and careless. He's not such an unlikable guy, especially when he prides himself so much in his pa passion for soccer. Mitch might be a cocky and arrogant ass on the outside, but inside I can feel that he truly accepts me as a friend. You have so low standards. I feel a deep bond with Mitch. I can sense that we became friends in the true sense of the heart. I repeatedly declined Mitch's offer and said farewell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me let me just take a sip because oh my god. He he pretty much rambled, yeah. I hate him more now. I, I need I need you to know something, okay? <laughs> There was this dude that was in the server that I'm in, that I'm not super active in now, mm. that um he swore up and down that Mitch is just a, just a regular dude, that he's not such an unlikable guy, that he's, you know, just a normal dude. And everyone in the server, including me, was like, did you play the game? <laughs> because I was just like, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, he fucking attempts to, like, coerce Akane to go have sex with him. Secondly, the, his free time events, I gesture roughly. A and thirdly, the whole reason he committed murder in the first place was because he wanted to get out to go play soccer again and check that, that soccer wasn't actually gone, which is a super pathetic motive. Mans has nothing, even though people say he has everything. I'm sorry, he's just, no. <laughs> Garbage disposal. Just throw away the whole man. <laughs> yeah, just, just throw away the whole man. He's not needed. 
Yuki. Ah, uh, yeah. Back then. Uh, what are you doing? Are you gonna stick to me again? Ah, uh, you're so sensitive to physical contact. Usually boys love this kind of thing. Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask. What is it? How wealthy is your family, you? <laughs> uh, well, I'm not in poverty, but not that rich either. So I guess kind of in the middle? All right. Why are you asking this, gold digger? Oh, nothing special. I was just curious. By the way, you became the ultimate lucky student thanks to your luck, didn't you? Yes. Zarnet, he's so- <laughs> Wait, what did you see? He's in a- <laughs> Right. No, that is oh so Oh my god, close. that was so fast! <laughs> Darn it, he's so mediocre. I could still try to get close to him, I guess. I can rip him off. And abandon him later. <laughs> I mean, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my god. I fucking knew it. She uses men. I was right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's an awful piece of shit. I kind of like her. <laughs> it's very entertaining in fiction, yes. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, what did you say? I couldn't hear you very well. Mm, oh, it's nothing. Anyway, Yuki, I'm so nervous. I'm so scared of Monokuma. Would you hug me to calm me down? No thanks. I can understand your feelings, but... Here, let me pet your head instead. Oh, don't be shy, you. Why does Kizuna like to be so physically close to others? Aside from that, I think I heard her say something weird. I have a bad feeling about this. You should always have a bad feeling around her. Hmm. After hanging out with Kizuna for a little while, I went off. You really know how to make conversations fun. <laughs> really? That's good to hear. It's a lie. <laughs> In reality, she's been lending this chat all along. Well, I only said a few words in response. I don't know if I can call that a conversation. You, don't you think that we've become closer? Uh-huh, have we? I'm not sure. Hmm, you know, if we get out of here safely, why don't we become a couple? What? What did you just say? Huh? Well, let's date it after we escape. Wait, Kizuna. I know we're definitely good friends, but I don't think we're close enough to become a couple. So? I like you. Isn't that enough? Well... I mean, I can't understand why you would like an ordinary guy like me. Your money. And your luck. Do you need a reason to like someone? I like you just because. Kizuna, you're not asking other boys out like this, are you? Uh, huh? What do you mean? Come on, you! You may not have noticed, but pretty much everyone knows that you're flirting with every guy you meet. Ah! So, it's just a sign of friendship, but you're different, you. You're special to me. <laughs> you think of everyone as a friend, Kizuna. Of course. You're the only one I want to have a relationship with. Everyone else is just a friend. Then how come you're not interacting with other girls? What? Other girls? Well, you know, Yuki, there's a lot of dimensions to what you think of as friendship between girls. Unless we speak the same language, we don't team up together and usually end up being enemies. I was right, you're a mean girl. <laughs> but aren't you just ignoring the other girls like Akane, even though they're trying to be friendly? Uh, oh, well, yeah, but... Kizuna, I'm very grateful for your attitude towards me, but I don't want to be the favorite one. Oh! 
Why don't you try to get close with other girls too and not just guys? Yuki's being unusually based here. Oh, great. What? You... Are you asexual or gay? <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? A pretty girl like me acts charming to you and you start saying all this gibberish? If it were any other guy, he would have been begging me to date him by now and you're back-talking. You... Are you uncomfortable with me? No, I'm not uncomfortable with you, but... Really? If that's the case, then you like me. Oh, that's lovely, you. Then let's date after we're out. There's a purse I really want to have, and if you buy me that as a present, I'll love you even more. <laughs> Wait, what are you... You promise? Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be off to grab some food from the kitchen since I'm starving. I'll see you later. Man, this is a riot. With that, Kizuna left off on her own. It was a bit uncomfortable around her from the beginning, but I didn't expect it to be like that. She's awfully obsessed with me. No, more like she's obsessed with my wallet and what it could get her. Does she know I'm broke? <laughs> Thinking about her potential motives, I turned and ran. As, as you should. <laughs> I'm so glad that you came to talk with me again. Kizuna, you know, there's something I would like to talk about. What is it? A love confession at last? Oh, you. Please stop doing that. What do you mean? Stop what? You know, trying to touch me and act charming. Oh, you're being shy, aren't you? It's okay. No, that's wrong. She's like... These aren't your true colors. You're just gold digging for me, aren't you? She's like an experienced gaslighter and it's hmm. kind of... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I've been watching you for a while, Kizuna. You've been actively approaching other guys. Especially the richer ones like Tsurugi and Teria. I want to see that. You've said the same thing to all of us. And you're saying that I'm the only special one? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that she's been buttering up Teria and Tsurugi? I want to see that so badly. I... I ha... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna cry laughing, that's excellent, because Teria, I can just see, like, what the- what in the blazes is going on here? What's wrong with you, woman? And then Sarugi's like, get the fuck away from me, I'm bored. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh god, Tsurugi would be so unimpressed. He- I- I have a plot point later that I need to write. Okay, this will be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, did, did she... Then would she also be like, Hey Tsurugi, are you asexual or gay? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't beating the allegations. I bet she asks all the men this who don't reciprocate. She's Probably. like, man, are you just like ace or gay? What's your problem? Why, are, why aren't you oogling my boobs? <laughs> like, man, she cannot understand that there's something called a type. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, no, I can be every man's type as long as he has money. <laughs> she ain't trying, though. Holy shit. Okay. 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 <laughs> Sorry, but... Nah. Nah, girl, come on. Nah, nah, girl. You, you should... Did you earn... Okay, 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 okay. Did you learn this from your mom because of her hostess shit? Is this why? Is 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 this... Did you learn this from her? Because that, that kind of is how it works. You're just like, mm, yes, spend money on me. That, that, that... Like mother, like daughter. 
Man, sometimes I forget about heterosexuality because I immediately I was just like, why aren't you asking Mikaru? <laughs> She's clearly the richest one here, right? I mean, probably. She's a professor, think... she makes big bang. I think out of the t out of the entire class, the richest ones here, if we're including Yamato, in this order would be Yamato, um, Teria, and Mikaru, hmm. and then maybe Surugi would bring up the fourth rung because that's government money. And then if we're really thinking about it, Kinji could be up there if he's keeping any of the money from the church, but I highly doubt it considering he's actually a decent dude. Hmm. So yeah, I, yeah, if she swang both ways, she could also hit up Mikaru, but eh, theoretically, Akane could be making bank as well, because she, she, from her lore, from what I know, she is a maid for, and has been a maid for, uh, some super higher end rich families, so she, she, she tucks it away. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there, there's a few rich people in this class. I mean, it makes sense, considering talent and stuff. And then Utsuro's obvious because of his luck. He can just make money fall in his lap. <laughs> but man, she... She did not mention Mitch even once. Yeah, Mitch is rich too, but who would want to go for that? <laughs> not even Kizuna. No, I... I mean, in Chapter Zero, you sh you see him, her hitting him up, and then he confronts her about like, "What do you mean you're not giving my money back?" <laughs> but that felt less like a girlfriend asking the boyfriend for money, and more like, "Hey, you got some money for me?" Yeah, that's true. Also, he offered, "You're just treating me like a fool." It yeah, yeah. So what? Huh? Yuki, you should really know your position. All you have to do is just act like an idiot guy that gets horny every time I flirt with you. Just have a big crush on me. I'll make you happy. Besides, I'm pretty cute, don't you think? So just be a good boy and do what I say. <laughs> What uh, doing whatever I'm told? That's just like servitude. Exactly. All men are my servants. <laughs> She's not even trying to hide it anymore. This girl is out of her mind. Her way of thinking is more twisted than I thought. Yuki, you can't do this to me. I'm stuck here for now, but my faithful bodyguards are waiting for me outside. Several of them are members of school gangs. They are really strong. And they carry clubs with them, too. Are you dating members of Yakuza? Most importantly, I'm their queen. So if you keep nagging me, those big guys won't leave you alone. What, uh, so you just use violence to get rid of people you don't like? Using violence to get rid of people? Oh, please. My bodyguards worship me, but since they aren't really smart, they tend to make moves of their own at every- at my every complaint. Every time I'm in a bad mood, they always figure out the cause and solve it for me. It's not my fault, you know. They're doing it on their own. Ooh. Hmm. Also, they send me presents every week and lend me money every time I need it. Really convenient, isn't it? Why do I- why do you need others, then? They're really loyal to you, so what do you want for want to do for them? Um, nothing. For real? They told me that being able to admire my breathtaking beauty is rewarding enough. Don't you have a heart? They love you sincerely, no matter what you think about them. I know, I felt sorry for them, so I let them... Sleep with my cheerleader peers to compensate. What? <gasps> Wait, what? I wanted to give something in return, but wouldn't it be a waste to use my precious body for that? So I picked out some pretty ones to show them. What about them? Did they do it voluntarily? Ha! Huh, what are you talking about? Who cares about that sort of crap? Jesus Christ. 
My bodyguards are high up on the power pyramid. Those girls actually benefited from being called to their inner circle. Yo! Oh! Kizuna, you're terrible. I agree. What did you say? You're so selfish. You think you have everything because you're pretty, don't you? Have you ever put others before yourself? Like your bodyguards that do anything for you? Or the girls who had to sleep with them as a reward? What about the other students knocked in the school? I'm not sure how much you value relationships, but someday you will pay the price. At least if you keep looking down on others. I'm not looking down on others. Are you sure about that? Have I done something wrong? Everything! I've done nothing, I've just been living an ordinary life and gained this position. Isn't this how relationships work? Top and bottom, the, rule, the ruler and the rules? Isn't that how society is split up? Am I wrong? Am I the weird one? Yes. Despite living a life full of pretense and lies, Kizuna sounded sincere at that very moment. From the beginning, she had only known one kind of relationship. Did something happen to her? I'm leaving. I'm not in a good mood. I decided to move on. Wait, 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 wait. Did... I don't know if this is confirmed, but now I have a theory that, like, growing up around her mom, like, I already kind of figured this, like, that growing up around her mom really fucked her up, and that maybe, uh, 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 her mom's clients, uh, I'm not gonna continue that thought, but I think you get what I'm saying. Mm. I think she just kind of learned the behavior and then just sort of, mm. But I, 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 mm, I don't know. She's a great antagonist, I can tell here, because, like, her way of thinking is so fucking twisted, but oh my god, she got her peer cheerleaders assaulted? What? Girl! <laughs> That's fucked up! <laughs> That's just really, like, ultra mean girl behavior. I... I uh, like, evil. It's just fucked up! <laughs> Evil. D yeah! <laughs> Man. Yeah, that's all I got! <laughs> Alright, what's gonna the last one be? Yuki. Yeah? Since the talk last time, we've been quite awkward near each other. Come to my room. Y your room. Yeah, it's because I need to tell you something, so stop complaining and come along. Oh, I would not do that. <laughs> what the heck? She didn't even ask for my opinion. Oh well, let's see what she needs to say. That's how you get Yuki, murdered. Yuki, she, she, you, 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 Yuki. She just admitted to having her cheerleader peer, peers, um, get blackmailed into sleeping with members of Yakuza. Why are you going willingly to her room? <laughs> she could do a lot of terrible things, my guy. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm here. What did you call me for? Instead of answering my question, Kizuna slowly approached me. Scary. Then she pushed me down on, on her bed and... Oh, wait, what? See? See? Terrible things. The... The... But this is exactly what I was talking about. This is exactly what I was talking about. This is why I said don't go to her room. Bro. <laughs> what are you doing, Kizuna? God, stop. Seriously, why are you taking off my clothes? Because she's terrible. Shut up, stop struggling, and take them off now. 
This this sounds like this is not her first time doing this. Oh jeez. This is gonna cause trouble. Calm down, Kizuna. Why are you suddenly like this? Why am I like this? It's not because of you. No man has ever been as defiant as you. From gang leader to teacher's pet, I put them all under my rule. And yet you, a normie like you, brushes up, brushes me off like I'm nothing to care about at all. Fine, I'll show you. I'll conquer you with my own body and you'll never think about defying me again. Clothes off now. <laughs> Uh, I'm gagging from having to voice that line. Uh, understandable. Uh, stop, Kizuna. Monokuma said this kind of relationship is not allowed. And this isn't like you. Uh, are you sure? Not like me. Maybe you're right. This isn't like me. I wouldn't waste my body on a normal guy when every man on the street bows to me whenever I pass by. This is... that's not what I meant, though, but okay. Was it because of what I said last time? Back then, I might have been too harsh on you, I'm sorry. No, 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 don't apologize. I just wanted to tell you that humans can never live alone. Having bodyguards that move <coughs> at your whim, being able to get all you want. Those might feel great now, but they don't last forever. Your bodyguards will eventually grow up and leave your squad. And so will you. You don't think your beauty will stay the same as your age, do you? Looks aren't all it takes to survive in life. Though I'm sure you'll find a way to succeed with your pro professional cheerleading skills. But it feels wrong. I've never met a man that didn't like me until now. Your existence itself feels like an insult to me. So you want to assault him for that? women like that exist i i'm sure they do but it's never been put in front of me before so i'm just befuddled <laughs> i am now completely understanding all the shitty memes about her <laughs> that exist i am unsure if i want to know more but i can imagine um, she's notoriously, at least in the West, for being, like, one of the most hated characters next to Mitch, and now I can see why. Yeah, yeah. Like, cause... Yeah, the same. Well... Yeah, just, like, with a different lens. They're the same with a different lens, and it's kind of... It's kind of jarring. Because <laughs> I didn't expect that. I also didn't... Well, um... This is one of the cases where a free time event certainly tanks your opinion <laughs> for someone you like. Oh, before. yeah. I think she's a well written, like, antagonist, but, like, that's all I really think about her, if I'm honest. Yeah, that's. Uh, uh, this type of stuff immediately goes to my shit list, so. Yeah, I'm not saying that I like her, I'm just saying she's well written. Hmm. And that's the part that's like really tanking my opinion about it at all, because there's certain ways to approach this topic. Some are done well, some are not. This one's kind of an in-your-face way of doing it. And my recommendation is if you put this in your media, you need to have like a higher rating on your game because of just what it does when you read it yeah that the, the the this is this is the, this makes me like more concerned about the fact that so many um so many younger people are into the dra series because like to my knowledge because i've watched all the sdra to uh char character free times hmm. um there's only one character that i can think of off the top of my head that would do something like this, but it is against another character in just that one. So it's easy to at least redact from your memory of like, okay, I just don't like that. Hmm. I, I will not perceive it. I don't like it. But like here, there's like two. And I'm just like, this is hard to ignore that this is here. <laughs> and I must say, this is actually worse than what than the whole Mitch thing, because with Mitch, it was more like sexual harassment. And this is this is worse. 
I'll be honest though, I feel like Mitch could still potentially do something like this, but like that Linus just didn't go into it because mm. that's a more common thing in media than it is seeing women approach a guy like this. And I think that's the point. I don't know how to feel about it being in here, but I, I think that's the point. Mm. Is that like, oh, you expect the shitty guy to be the one to do this on screen, but no, it's the shitty girl that's doing this on screen. I bet she didn't expect that, huh? Ha ha. Put a better warning. But anyway. <laughs> uh, huh. Yeah. Youch. Blah. 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 Of course, I think you're pretty too. Heck, I don't even feel like I deserve you since I got out of here. Since I got in here out of pure luck. What? What? Uh, but the guys that follow you around are doing it because they like you. They're willing to give you everything, but you're not paying them back. That's what I don't like. They like me? Yeah, yeah, as if they do. Huh? The only part of me they like is my looks. I know that too. Who would really give everything to a girl like me? You're pretending to be concerned for me, but really, you're just dis as you're just disgusted at my true colors. I mean, fix that maybe then. That's it was the same for every man I met. They didn't care about who I am as long as I looked hot. You don't know how much stress I've gone through because of that. Go to therapy then! So I decided to defend myself. By using my appearance against them. This is not defense as far as I'm concerned. No. Absolutely not. Isn't it funny? I have the whole crowd of men hailing my every action, yet I'm without a boyfriend or even a friend. This is why you go to therapy for these things. All those men will think it's okay how I act if, I, if they can just be with a pretty girl. That's why I think of men as my servants. It's not a good excuse. If I look weak, I'll be played for a fool. If I... And I've lied and pulled off acts to make it this far, but if they spot even the slightest weakness in me, that's what I'm really scared of. Oh, boo-hoo. Smallest violin plays for you. <laughs> I see. At first, her obnoxious way of thinking led to me believe she was just another arrogant girl. But as I vaguely felt last time, Kizuna's personality was influenced by her <coughs> surroundings. Men came for her for looks, even though she tried to treat them nicely. Even though she tried to treat them nicely, they didn't care for her as a person. The idea that good looks are everything. That was the sort of environment that created Kizuna's twisted personality. Hmm... I feel like I've gone back to my old days when I'm with you. Or any of the other guys. Hope Speak Academy's a strange place. Huh? Why am I crying? Because you're realizing you're a shitty person. Kizuna. Have you ever shown others your true feelings? True feelings? Like you talk with a therapist? Those who fall for you because of your looks probably don't see the real you. And when you try to tell them your true thoughts, you hesitate because you're afraid of yourself. Because you're a piece of shit. The world is large. There are plenty of men and women living out there. I'm sure you'll find someone who's able to love you with their heart. Maybe after soul searching. A lot of soul searching. With a therapist. Mm -hmm. And if you can't find them on your own, I'll help you. So please don't say that all men are your servants or that looks can solve everything. Yuki. I think I've already found them. N n no, uh, no, no, no. Uh-huh. He's standing right here in front of me. Leave the room. Run. Run right now. Huh? I'm just kidding. Why would I fall for a perfectly mediocre guy like you? Good. Can, can he go now? Uh, hello? You literally tried to get me late a moment ago? That's not what that means. That's not what happened. Anyway, Kizuna seems to feel much more relieved. I might have been too stubborn up until now. Searching for true love? Hmm, that's not too bad. 
Well then, you. Help me out on this, okay? Well, I promised it. Why did you? You can- you can lie! <laughs> that you'll do anything right. You know, I could really use a new hand back when we out to find my true love, of course. <laughs> Leave. Leave right now. Kizuna, you... Although Kizuna's words haven't changed from before, her face was clearly different. Given her life as a queen bee, I don't think she'll change anytime soon, but if today becomes a turning point for her to get better, I couldn't be happier. We were sort of in a cold war with each other, but we somehow made up in the end. And yet she's still calling me by that nickname, even after I called her out. I thought she dropped the act. Would that mean we became close? <laughs> you. I could sense that her tone has gotten somewhat softer as opposed to how she called me before. I think I was able to peek into Kizuna's mind a bit. Okay, but here's the thing about that. She tried to assault you. Leave. <laughs> I think this probably has a lot to do with people not thinking that women can assault men or stuff like that, so it's downplayed. Like, it's not as bad. The game is over 10 years old. I just don't like it. Yeah. But I'll, I'll give, I'll give Lanouge a pass here. The game is 10 years old. We didn't have a lot of fucking acceptance about the fact that this can actually happen. This might be like to put it in your face that it can, but then he probably softened it because people weren't ready to accept that yet. But I still, I don't like it. So yeah, small PSA to all the guys out there. If a girl does something despite you saying stop, run. Run very fast and don't look back. And don't feel bad if you have to throw her off. It's fine. <laughs> Just you're 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 stronger than you think. Just just toss her over and bolt. Bye. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh. Uh. I was able to learn a little more about Kizuna today. It was worth the time. Was it? Was it really Yuki? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. -mm. I feel a deep bond with Kizuna. I sense that we became close from the bottom of my heart. As, Ki as Kizuna seemed to feel much better, I said my goodbyes and left the room. And then she tried to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> that, that. Yeah, she did. <laughs> that, that, that was a lot. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna take a sip and just sit here for a moment. Well, it. Mm. <sighs> nah. <laughs> Just nah. <laughs> well, that was terrible. It was awful. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, no two better waters. Yes, please. As much as I don't care about Hatano, give us like at least a, a cleanse, like a cleanser, please. I'm begging. <laughs> Please don't make her blush at Yuki at the end. Considering how many people ship those two together, I would not be surprised. <laughs> <sighs> compet again. I there's a lot of compet in the game. I noticed, so I, it doesn't shock me anymore. I just don't like it mm. because they could do so much better. Yeah. Than this loser. <laughs> <laughs> well, seems like another victory of mine. <sighs> Wait, I need some rest. Uh, what now, Yuki? Are you exhausted already? That tells me your fitness is below average in our age group. Uh, uh, I quit. I wasn't much of an athlete anyway. Is that so? Considering that you are rather passionate, although you may be far behind me now, you will easily catch up with practice. No way. Do you think I can really run faster than the ultimate sprinter? I speak the truth. As an athlete myself, I can vouch for your talent. However, your stamina falls too short. Beyond mere talent, a good athlete must develop cardio endurance and lung capacity through, tra through training. I'm fine. I never thought about becoming an athlete. 
Katano, teach me those. That's all I care about. Hmm. Even so, even so, if another opportunity arises, I hope you can be my running partner again. It's the first time I've run with this much enthusiasm and excitement since entering the school. Exercise should always be done together. Competition and a friendship with bears. It's beautiful, isn't it? Damn, I forgot, forget what I just said. What an embarrassing thing to say. <laughs> I like it when you let your inner poet slip out. Don't, don't be inane. I'm well aware of my habit of sinking into my own pace during conversations. I already told you when we first met, but I think your habit is a new, unique part of you. It's not an embarrassing thing. Can't you be more proud of it? Uh, part of me? I see. Perhaps I was overly self-conscious of it. I understand. I will slowly get used to it. On that note, Yuki, shall we one run one more time? We have sufficient rest, haven't we? Haven't we? Uh, run again? No thanks. I already feel like dying. I know she's all eager to do stuff, but she really needs to hold it back at certain times. I managed to barely escape. I am at full speed. Stuff. Jesus. Another sweaty session. Don't you agree that exercising together is fantastic, Yuki? She's just gonna torture him. <laughs> I... Yep. Like it. But... Can we... Rest for... A second. The... Oof. Are you okay, Yuki? Your breathing pattern is extremely rough. Of course it's rough. We ran for more than three hours without a break. Why is she running around the school halls instead of using a treadmill? Such a hard girl to understand. Although we are ought to run more till the next break. Very well. You are looking terrible. We shall rest for a moment. Lie down. Then repeatedly take a deep breath in, in and out. Uh, would you like a cold drink? N no, it's fine. I'm all fine now. Yuki? Uh, uh, I am. There's no need to keep pace with me. What are you talking about? I understand very well. Haven't you become senselessly tired from trying to keep pace with me? I have constantly remind I have been constantly reminded of this problem that it's hard to keep pace with me. You don't know how to recognize the mood. You always speak about things out of context. You're just showing off to gain attention. These are all things I have heard in the past. Yuki, if you try to keep pace with me, you will end up wearing yourself down. Although exercising with you has been a great delight, it should not continue if it comes at your expense. Uh, that's ridiculous. Who would ever tr say that I'm trying to keep up with you? Yuki? I am. A it's true that you're very energetic and pumping with enthusiasm. For some, that sort of personality might come off as... What? As overwhelming. But that can never be a reason to distance another person. You? Showing off? That's a joke. Yuki. Ayama, I'm not making myself exhausted only to appease you. It's because I want to. You want to? I know best from past experience the harsh pain you feel when you run out of breath with your legs shaking. Despite it, you still? It doesn't matter. If I can become a closer friend to you, this is absolutely nothing. See? I've already recovered. You... <clears throat> what a troublesome friend. I always strive to increase my exercise load every day. I trust you understand that it won't get any easier tomorrow. 
Just as I wanted. Someday I will surpass you. Afterwards, I parted with Ayama following a brief chat together. Where's that passion coming from? Yuki, I think your fitness is greatly improving. Really? I feel like I'm definitely running with more of a bounce, too. I'm glad. Is this the joy of being a trainer? I feel as if I'm developing an athlete. Usually, it's the other way around for me. Hey, Ayame. I wanted to ask you something from last time. And that is? Well, I know that the school is warm inside, but don't you ever feel a bit chilly in that kind of outfit? Outfit? Uh, what is it you're speaking of? That, um, bloomer, as an example. Uh, bloomer? Is it really an issue? I like the comfort of movement this outfit allows me to have. Uh, it's more like... <laughs> how can I put this? Uh, Yuki, any chance you're having lewd thoughts about my thighs? <laughs> no, nope, definitely not. What I'm trying to say is... Since you're a girl, I was wondering if you were interested in pretty clothes, like most girls. The vast majority of pretty clothes are the airy type, right? Well, yeah, like Akanis. Not to criticize her or anything, but my personal belief is that clothes vary primarily in practicality. Mood? Yeah. Ultimately, clothes were invented to maintain our body temperature. Akana's maid outfit probably helps her own work substantially. In contrast, I cannot achieve my main goal of life in running, wearing those kinds of clothes. But do you ever think of wanting to wear them? Typically, girls your age group have a lot of interest in looking after their appearance. <laughs> they wouldn't fit me anyway. Who would ever be attracted to a sweaty, rigidly spoken woman like me? I mean, you're happy about it, so I guess that's fine. <laughs> that's wrong. You may not be aware of it yourself, but you're quite attractive. Awkward. Don't say such weird things. You're only making the atmosphere stranger. And also, I want to focus on running over being typical for now. I have a dream. Dream? Hmm? It is to win a gold medal in the Olympics after growing up a bit more. Wow, a gold medal. You can do it, Ayame. You're already so fast. I wonder. It's a big world. I'm sure there are athletes faster than me. This is why I don't stop training every day to fulfill my dream. But your words give me confidence, Yuki. Perhaps a bit of competition is helping me out. Competition? Wait, me? An average student like me being the ultimate sprinter's competitor? That doesn't make sense. Yuki, you don't remember what I said last time? You do have talent. Day after day, you are getting faster than before. At this pace, I might be caught up sooner than later. <laughs> uh, surely, surely not. Hmm, then let us conclude today's session. See you next time, Yuki. Watching the back of a merely laughing Ayame, I too decided to hide away. Five. She has so many! Hmm. <sighs> Another tiring session yet. A tiring yet re rewarding session. How are you feeling, Ayame? Ayame? Mm, yeah. Hmm? Uh, what did you say, Yuki? Blanking out already? It's only been an hour. 
We were gonna rest a little, then do some dumbbell lifting afterwards. Yugi is getting fit. You are right, yes. but... Let us call it a day, Yuki. Uh, what? You're wrapping up training already? Is something wrong? Well, you see... I have a problem, but it's nothing you should be concerned about. Not my concern. I get you an athlete and all, but... You look sick. Are you okay? I said it's none of your business. Girl. That was a bit harsh. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to get enraged. My apologies. You don't have to apologize for getting angry. Instead, you should apologize about saying that I shouldn't be concerned. You're my friend, Ayame. When a friend refuses my help, despite clearly being troubled by something, to me, feeling incapable of helping my friend is more upsetting than being shouted at. I see. I was inconsiderate. I will tell you. No, please, let me tell you. Yeah, please do. What happened to you? Not only did you finish exercise early, but you were so uncharacteristically uncharacteris angry. Uh, you see, I had a slight pain in my hamstring recently. Uh, what's a hamstring? Simply put, it's a large tendon found in the back of your tie. Ooh. Yeah. It's responsible for acce acceleration and deceleration during training. Uh, wait a second, that means... Indeed, I have a problem with the muscle equal to my ath athletic career. Rest. Uh, uh, then... Isn't it strange? You were running well until now. Yuki, I will tell this to you only. I've actually injured my hamstring once in the past. Huh? My intense training style was the cause. Rest. Although an emergency surgery barely salvaged my leg, the surgeon firmly told me to never overexert myself ever again. Even so, you you still practice with an existing injury until now? No, you can't. You might get hurt to a point of no return. I know, however... I cannot stop now. Girl, no. Time waits for nobody. Even now, somewhere across the world, I am being overtaken by another athlete. Girl, no. To fulfill your dreams, I believe that you have to make calculated risks. I will not let this trivial, trivial injury impede me. Ayami, you idiot. Beat her ass. Y Yuki? Do you think achieving your dream is everything you have? You might become permanently incapable of running. You might be crippled for life. Should you give up your happiness in exchange for your dream? Yeah, like... Even after the Olympics, you have like a long life ahead of it? I support your dream. If you become an Olympic gold medalist, I would be more than glad to celebrate your achievement and be happy for you. But if you lose everything in exchange, I'll stop supporting your dream. You're more than your dream, isn't that right? Yuki, maybe I am being really presumptuous, but this is what I believe. No, you are correct. Perhaps I was blindly pursuing my ideals. Sorry for making you worried. From now on, I will cease my recklessness. Rest. For at least a week. Ayame? I know when to stop. Are you sure? I may have been too reckless recently. I stopped today's training prematurely because of the reoccurring hamstring pain. It's not just for today. Don't overstrain your muscles from now on. 
<laughs> uh, did I say something funny? Yuki, you sounded like my coach. Like I said, I know that was very presumptuous. You shouldn't be worried. I shan't stop running. As long as I have a coach in my heart. Huh? I couldn't hear you just then. What did you say? It's absolutely nothing. Now, shall we stop our training and instead start planning for a healthy diet plan? Come, Yuki. Onwards to the cafeteria. Uh, wait a second, please. Ayama certainly, certainly appears to have found serenity somewhere in her heart. I'm glad... blah. I ate nutritious food with Ayama and went off. Hey, Yuki? Huh? Did you call me? If you're gonna ask me to do another calisthenic stretching, please stop. I wanna die now. <laughs> ah! um, no, no, no. It's um, something entirely different. You see... Is I am hesitating? That's weird. Something happened to her. No way. Is your leg hurting again? Nothing like that. Man, I hate brooding over this. I, I have something to say, so come to my room. What? I am being cautious to not let anyone else hear us. Don't, don't take it the wrong way. I won't do anything strange. But then I will be waiting for you. Uh, Girl, why are you so awkward? Hmm. Uh, I have no idea what's happening. What's going on? Ayama looked a little disoriented. Regardless, I was invited into a girl's room. Is it alright to go? This time it should be. Well, she did say she would be waiting. I have to go. She may kick me at full strength if I back out after all the commotion. I don't know what's going on, by, but I decided to visit Ayama's room anyway. Yeah, I think Ayama is one of the safest options of girls to go to rooms. Hmm. <laughs> I, I was waiting, Yuki. Yep. Yeah, so why did you call me into your room? Uh, didn't you ask me before whether I am interested in feminine things? Oh gee. You let me to think about it. And I have come to the conclusion that I must know more about men to understand femininity. <laughs> femininity. Huh. Huh? I, I don't have anyone to ask about this apart from you. I can't ask the other girls. I am not so close with the other guys either. So, Yuki, teach me more about men. Okay. Girl, what? <laughs> uh, what? Do you realize what you are saying? Uh, what are you talking about? To be more feminine is akin to seducing the opposite sex, like what pheromones do, am I not right? No. No. Unfortunately, I'm not too bright in this kind of area, which means I have to know more about men. Like... Like pheromones. Way too radical. Radical? <laughs> but Ayama isn't joking around either. Is she completely naive to this? I think it's supposed to mean like, uh. Extreme? I yeah. think the word that would have worked better there is extreme. <laughs> oh, gee. Now, Yuki, tell me everything about men. I am mean, to make it completely clear, it may sound slightly inappropriate. Hmm? But I truly know nothing about men. Am I asking too much? Well, it's nothing like that. And Yuki pulls out a PowerPoint presentation. What I mean is, what you said, it sounds like you're trying to imply you want to have an experience. I don't see it that way. Not really. Experience. What experience? How confusing. Oh no, this lady is completely innocent. A blank page of purity. I I think you're just taking it the wrong way, personally. Yeah. 
Anyway, I thought you put that kind of thing aside to achieve your dream. Why did you change your opinion? That is... I have no idea. I keep thinking abnormally when I see you. Oh, jeez. This is not helping his head. Yeah. Why is that so? Somehow, rather than sweating and exercising, I want to be more elegant and calm around you. Oh, Blech. Jesus. No. Uh, such thoughts are a bit foreign to me. Uh, uh, that means... What? What kind of nonsense am I jittering? Yuki, since you are a man, wouldn't you prefer a woman like that? Yeah. Uh, Ayame, although I can't speak for all men, I think a woman's charming qualities are dynamic. All men have pre preferences, they are guys who dislike the quiet type of girl you described. Is that why you're oblivious about Akane? Could be. Is that so? Then how about you? Huh? Yuki, what kind of girl do you like? Uh, hey, that's way too sudden. I am a... Enough! Forget, forget everything I have said in this room. This is not me. Dismiss him. Ayame? I am sorry, Yuki. I said some nonsense. This wasn't why I wanted to speak to you. What should I say? It's, a, it's an enigmatic emotion. Without a doubt, I am sure of one thing. You are my precious friend. You are mine too, Ayame. As I was about to say it, my lips froze. The instant Ayame made a soft smile on her face, I was dazzled by a shining brighter than she ever had before. Oh, Jesus. Oh, bad. oh man. I can sense a deep bond with Ayame. I can sense that we became close from the bottom of our hearts. I left Ayame's room... Okay, but do we... Hmm? Go ahead. G. Bye, Inori. <laughs> to be fair... Doesn't every DR game do this? Where they're like, mm, yes, you are totally a harem protag and you can totally get close to every single character in the cast, even if they actually hate you. I must say that Makoto and Hinata are more charismatic, though. Oh no, I agree. I think Yuki's a piece of shit. <laughs> like... This whole thing actually sounded more like something Naegi would go through than Yuki. <laughs> so I was just confused about the whole thing. I I think the point here is that like Lino's just like, hey, he gets action too, and I'm like, I don't believe you, but sure, if you have to show me that. <laughs> Man, I always called him a failed harem protagonist, and then when he actually no, gets no, no. some action, no, 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 I hate no, no, it. No, 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 Rena. He is still a failed harem protagonist. I don't, I don't care. The free time <laughs> events, I don't care. Those are optional. He is a failed heroin protagonist. The, the f failed protagonist to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh boy. Inori, my baby girl. I love this woman. <laughs> Let's hope she also doesn't con she doesn't succumb to combat. Even if it, it it shows it to me on the screen, I will say no. You already have a man. This is not your man. This is not the man you are looking for. Turn away. <laughs> there must be a different name for it, like Protag head. Pump protest? No, I. There is another term for it. Um, so yeah. yeah, the term that I am most familiar familiar with is forced het. I, but comp het fits too. Mm. I I just don't like forced het in my in my media because I'm just like it takes away, and sometimes it, it also cheapens the characters, which it's doing here. So I'm a little annoyed, but that's fine. <sighs> That's just what. So yeah, yeah. I do prefer my free time events to be romance free. Yeah. Yeah. 
By the way, should we end the video here? We are already at one and a half hour. I think that would be good to cut up some of these mm. because there's... How many did we go through? Five. Like four, five, oh, four. five. Okay, yeah. This 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 will be pretty good because we're trying to go through at least fifteen of them mm. since we already did Yamato in game. All right. Then see you next time as we start with Kanata in Noriden. Yep. Yeah, bye. Bye.